Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, Dimitri, for introducing us. So before we get started, a few quick questions. So how many of you have heard about Roblox? Maybe raise your hand. <laughs> wow, okay, cool, that's good. Maybe second question is like, uh, how many of you will feel pretty happy if you or your kids can hang out with friends, have fun without any interruptions on Roblox? Okay, there we go, I see a few hands, right? So reliability is very important. Cool, so my name is Xiaofeng, I'm from Roblox. Uh, I'm an engineer director there leading the observability team. Together with me is my coworker Jialing, he's a tech lead manager leading the tracing part. So today we're going to share some story about how do we build a um, runtime diagnostic system. Cool, so a little bit about Roblox, right? So um, we're kind of like one of the largest social and metaverse uh, platform on this planet. We have, as of uh, end, 20, end of 2023, we have over 70 million daily active users. Together, they contribute over 15.5 uh, billion hours of engagement. That's a lot of hours. We also have very big uh, creator community, right? So these are the people who contribute to our platform. Um, together, they contribute over 4.4 million different experience where people can hang out with each other. Cool, so behind that is actually a pretty complex system. So Roblox still runs primarily on-prem. So it means like we have our major data centers uh, within US and we have our edge data centers distributed globally. Together we have over 1,000 microservices running on hundreds of thousands of machines, right? So as you can imagine, there's a lot of challenge on how do we monitor debugging and keep the system up. So now I'm going to hand it over to Jialing and he will talk about very specific challenge we try to resolve. Thank you, Xiaofeng. Um, <laughs> yes. As we just heard from Xiaofeng about the scale the Roblox platform is running on. Uh, however, the way a uh, robot engineer uh, doing uh, to debug production issue isn't ready for that scale. Let's look at an example how we do uh, profiling, uh, uh, one type of run, runtime diagnostic uh, in the past. <clears throat> um, when a service is in trouble, the engineer try to provide it. They have to do the following in the past. First, request production uh, access permission which require human approval. And they log into one uh, production instance, install the tool, download the tool, uh, sorry, run the tool, and download the data after the profiling is done, and visualize and analyze the data on their local depth server. Finally, the admin have to revoke the production access. This is not great, right? Not scalable. Um, yeah, there were so many pain points that is lots of manual inefficient and there are actually security and privacy issues for people to log into the production server. We want to improve this. We want to make it delightful and efficient uh, and experience for our engineer. With those questions in mind, we look for a solution. We went through thorough uh, process of investigation, evaluation, and building proof of concept experiments before we decided to build in our end-to-end -to -end on demand profiling workflow based on pilot scope. We conduct comprehensive performance evaluation on pilot scope, measure the performance impact, proven it to be very acceptable to us. Next, we still need to make a big decision whether we want to roll it out to continuous profiling directory or we want to take it there step by step. Why we have this decision to make? Because actually continuous profiling is a relatively new concept to majority of our engineer and People are not very comfortable that it's running 24 by seven. Maybe they don't want to 
have any issue, uh, performance issue when they are sleeping. So we actually, uh, also, reliability is our number one priority. That's why the team, after you know, thorough consideration, we decided to take it step by step. We decided to build first an on-demand profiling experience and then hoping to roll it out and let our user to use it and they find it very useful and also do not cause them any trouble. Then they will feel more comfortable and more passionate about profiling more, more and more, and then eventually they want continuous profiling. That's our plan. And with that, we actually want to integrate it into our end-to-end -to -end, uh, toolchain. Uh, as uh, Dimitri just mentioned, you know, Pilotsco has been built for continuous profiling uh, since the beginning. That's why we actually require quite some in-depth technical support as well as even like new API from the SDK. Fortunately, as I want to call out that we have a great partner from the Grafana team that their technical support is awesome and very helpful. We want to actually say thank you for a few folks, including like Dimitri, uh, Ryan, and Bill, as well as maybe many are not actually in this room right now. So thank you. Um, here is the high-level architect of our runtime diagnostic system. We focus on the profiling aspect. Uh, on the top center, you can see that we bake the profiler into our container-based image. And our service framework are continuously monitoring our runtime configuration service to listen to when we need to provide what instances for how long or turn it off. Once they get the signal, they actually call the pilot scope SDK to dynamically control the profiler. And the profiling data, of course, will be uploaded into the pilot scope cloud. When a user wants to turn on and off uh, profiling on demand, they use a web-based UI, we build it internally, um, to update the runtime configuration. On the right-hand side, inside the dotted light box, are uh, what we are planning to build next, which we call event-based profiling. When service critical event happen, such as new deployment, CPU and memory issue, et cetera, they will immediately trigger automatically profiling. We are hoping that event-based uh, profiling will be a stepping stone for us to eventually reach the continuous profiling. We built this and released it for private preview December last year. And now we already received overwhelmingly positive feedback from our engineer, as well as uh, many successful stories with true impact have been reported. Uh, let's look at some of them. First, um, there was a service that they are doing performance optimization by doing on-demand profiling. They was able to identify many bottlenecks. One of them are actually caused by a JSON library they use are not performing. By just replacing that with a better library, they was able to see more than 36% CPU reduction. That was actually not just their service, they actually being generalized uh, to other services using the same uh, old library. Uh, second example, a uh, success story is one of our top services that are doing prof uh, profiling uh, to identify performance bottleneck as well. They actually find out one of the bottleneck and then they replace the expensive regular expression matching with just a simple dictionary lookup and that single change bring them more than 40% of CPU uh, reduction. Last example is a new service. They, before they go to production, they are doing optimization and hardening. They, again, use profiling, on-demand profiling to uh, find out the root cause, and they was able to fix it and see in a 10 times throughput improvement. That's all I have. I bet to cell phone.
OK, great. Thank you, Jialing, for walking us through the journey of adopting Periscope. Uh, as you know, right, so traditionally logs, metrics, and the traces are considered like this three pillar of observability. And uh, within Roblox, we're very happy like uh, be able to work with Grafana Lab and build the first pillar of runtime diagnosis system. So we can look into the process deeply enough whenever needed. So this is great. Together, we try to leverage all the data we have and continue to improve the reliability, productivity, and the efficiency of Roblox system, and hopefully provide a continuous, uninterrupted, no downtime for our clients. OK, uh, that's it. So Johnny and I will be held around here. If you have some ideas or similar visions, feel free to chat with us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>